March is International Women's Month, and throughout the month, we here at WRBL are recognizing the great contributions that women have made to our nation and to our local communities. Our next finalist is a Columbus woman who has devoted her time to giving back to children in our community. She's worked in education for the past 25 years. While many describe her as remarkable, she says she was born to do this work. WRBL's Christina Feliciano has her story. They walk in a student. They walk out a community member. Born and raised in Columbus, Sandy Jones, better known as Miss Jones, dedicates her life to her students. Jones has spent over 25 years in education wearing multiple hats, including teacher, educational interpreter for the deaf, and instructional coach. She currently works at MLK Elementary as the media specialist. While she's worked at multiple schools, one thing remained constant, overcoming the obstacles that come with serving so-called disadvantaged communities. The work is hard at schools like ours, but that work is being done by people who are so committed and that built a bond and a relationship within itself. And that's why I stay at a school like MLK or Dorothy Height or Key Elementary. Jones has been recognized as one of the top 10 teachers of the year in the Muskogee County School District, highlighting her impact on the community and her inclusive teaching style. Children should have a mirror to where they see themselves in that learning space, whether it's with books or the things that would display on walls, but they should also have windows where they can see other cultures in other environments and they can learn from that. And maybe eventually that sliding glass door opens and they can interact with that. Apart from her accolades, one of her greatest accomplishments is when former students approach her in her day-to-day -day life. A 19-year-old stopped her at the grocery store one day and reminded her of his favorite memory as her student, something so simple as coloring. And I said, coloring? And he said, yeah. And you said that people are beautiful brown peachy or peachy. And he said, and I saw myself, and you had the crayon that matched me. <laughs> and I said, oh, I did, and I love you, and you are beautiful. You know, but it's interesting because I, I taught for, what, the entire year, but the one thing he took away was that I had multicultural crayons. What does it mean to find out that you were nominated as a remarkable woman in your community? I was so humbled. When I woke up and I read your message, and I said, surely she has the wrong person. You know, I, I think we don't often see ourselves in that light as others see us. I'm not even sure that I could put into words the gratitude that I have for that person nominating me, but the feeling of, I'm just me. I'm just me. Thank you. I, I want you to walk. Sandy Jones may not wear a cape, but rather uses her superpowers to transform students into future leaders, one book at a time. Reporting in Columbus, Christina Feliciano, WRBL News 3, on your side. Remarkable Women is part of a nationwide Nexstar Media initiative to honor the influence that women have had on public policy, social progress, and quality of life. The winner will be announced in early April.